Okay, everyone, we're continuing with more of MMPR, or rather, Power Rangers Mega Brawl. We beat the invasion. I'm decided that I'm going to continue doing this with Jason since it's the only way. And I had a little test recording that ended really badly. Let's just say it wasn't pretty. So let's head on our way to defend the city and get to what the mall rescue. Looks like it's already begun. The mall rescue. The screaming's coming from that way. Let's go. Now, the only reason why I'm choosing Jason for the rest of the run is because if I did it with any other character, then that could be a pain in the keister. Plus, he's the most well-balanced of the, of the five characters. Plus, he can be able to get the job done really fast. And I truthfully like that. This whole season also the more well balanced, whereas the others have their own advantages and disadvantages. Though to be fair, like I said, the replay value for this is very high. If you want to like max out everybody, that's how you gotta do it. Wow, did it hurt? Come on, let's go. Why am I missing so badly? And here come more of the moose. Let's do it. That should do it. At least I got some energy out of it. Oh, what's the matter? That it? Huh. That guy wasn't that tough. Yeah, buzz off. I got a door to crack. I hate it when they do that. And they still hit me from even that far? Lame. Now let's finally head inside and rescue all the civilians. Well, at least that worked. Well, that took care of it. Now let's wipe them out. Very good. Gotta take care of these putties here. Because we don't need distractions. Good. Well, today's our lucky day. We found what we're looking for. There's a second hostage. Yeah, that's it, really? Ooh, that had a hurt. Goodbye. One less issue to deal with, of course. And now we have for this one. These guys got nerve intruding on a women's bathroom. These guys are mo these putties are morons. Seriously. 
And I know what you guys are thinking, why am I still using Jason for the rest of the run? Well, you can choose your option from the beginning, but yeah, this game actually recommends you to go back to playing, replaying levels over and over until you're like you're able to like max out every character, like level them up so they can get stronger. And it's imperative you gotta get stronger because the enemies will get tougher. All right, that should do it. Yeah, goodbye. Nice there. Come on. No, stop that, seriously. Is that it? Good. That should take care of you. Now let's see what's inside. Alright, all hostages have been rescued. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but it hurt knowing you just fell down hard. Yeah, you talk smack. Now I'm about to give you a little bit of, bit of pain. And wow, I have to admit, your brain wasn't even faring that well. Don't do that. Good, I got my health back. Do know that we saved all the hostages, thankfully. So once now we can get our butts out of here. There's Alpha. And unfortunately we're at level one, so yeah, we still need to unlock the rest of this and it'll take a very long time. I do mean long. I liked how they add RPG elements to it. But yeah, it can get kind of repetitive pretty fast since it's a necessary thing if you want to beat the rest of the game. Yeah, does it hurt? Well, that's got what's coming to them. Good, now let's head into the theater. Looks like we weren't expecting this. Yeah, there you go. Nope, missed. And I'm getting the hang of dodging these guys. Though the rolls is very useful for evading enemy attacks. Oh, come on, really? Yeah. Now becomes perfect for us. And I hate it how the putties can double team you. And that can really stick. Evade, evade. Yeah, there you go. Had enough? You should. Let's see if we can get our health back. Yep, we do. Well, so much for him. He wasn't that big of a deal. Goodbye.
Looks like someone needs our help. Yeah, like so. Yeah, that should do it. Well, I took care of that for you. Uh, thanks, whoever you are. This is Tommy Oliver. He ends up becoming one of the most popular characters in the Power Rangers franchise, and he's portrayed by Jason David Frank in a live action series. Just a girl with crazy new powers. Well, whoever you are, that was totally awesome. Isn't it? I had skills before, but now I can battle evil weird baddies and totally destroy them. <laughs> yes, you totally destroyed them. Come on, let's go. We have to keep going. Right. Well, see ya, Tommy. Tommy I have you. Ah, great. Just like in the live action series with Green with Evil. And now we reach the fair brawl. Hopefully this time I can do a little better. Because in my previous recording bit, it was a pain. A very big pain. Duck and stab. Dodge. I mean, come on, really? Yeah, that's right. How do I do that? That was like way too quick. Had enough? Lack of awareness. Good, let's move on. We haven't even leveled up yet. I swear, this is now going to become a more major incentive for us to actually replay all the levels again. Like I said, replay value for this is very high. Oh, that should do it. Ow! Yeah, goodbye. Yeah, like that. Yeah, goodbye, Black Knight. You're a pain in the butt. What's wrong, is that it? And here come now, they bring out both. Focus on one at a time. Yeah, that takes care of one enemy. And the other. Thank you, Blade Blaster. More health for us. Now we gotta dish out damage to the switch to activate the door. And the buddies ain't gonna take that for, a n for no for an answer. All oh, there is is just more health. Yeah, like that. Yeah, like so. Dodge. Avoid. I wonder if there's an achievement like in getting like a hundred hits. Guess not, since it just resets if you're not doing the combo after a couple of seconds. And here comes another threat. Yeah, the Tangus. Can't believe they involved now these moves from Season 3. 
or in fact the Tengu because they come out of ooze. Come on, you want some? Come and get it, buddy. Yeah, that should take care of you. Now we're inside the Tunnel of Love and our boat's a giant hamburger sign. How clever. Yeah, buzz off. Now you're going to get a nice long trip in the, in the ocean where you belong. Yeah, you come back down. I'm going to knock you on your butt. Oh, really? Yeah, like that. Wow, did I actually get hit from that? Wow. I still need to max out these combos. And the music for some reason speeding up. There you go. Didn't think they would make it this challenging. Ow. Like so, and here come the Tengu. Did it work? Yeah, it did. So much for that. Yeah, hit the ocean because that's where it suits you. I mean, come on, why would you... Wow! I didn't think the AI would be this idiotic! Hit the ocean, because that's where you belong. Oh, the Black Knight again. Okay, that was easy. A bit too easy, if you ask me. Watch this. I thought I would actually do this the easy way. Guess not. Hit the floor, that's where you belong. Yeah, goodbye. So much for the ride. Turned out not that bad. All right, now we continue through this. This one's a long one for sure. Oh, and by the way, if you die, like your failure mission, you have to actually go through everything again. And I'm trying to make sure to stay alive. Good. Oh, goody. How oh, isn't this appropriate? Yeah, the weird thing is that they once they land on the ground, you have to kick them again so that way you can like, reach up. Good. 
Yeah, that should take care of you. And that. I hope you guys are enjoying this so far, because as a Power Rangers fan, I find it to be enjoyable, but I feel there's like a lot hidden in this game that I haven't even figured out yet. But I'll be honest, this is actually fun. Come on. Please don't do that. Goodbye. Well, that took care of it. Now we're reaching the end. Oh, the Tango are back. But it's nice always seeing a T-Rex in the nearby background. That's I missed it. Goodbye. That it? And the Tengu again. Yeah, be gone, Tengu buttheads. Yeah, I'm running out of things to say, obviously. Just so focused on the game, beating up these guys. And it can be quite fun, but we can get really, really repetitive. Though I believe it's also kind of an incentive if you want to make yourself be stronger. We're about to tackle a big threat in here. Good. And here come the other enemies. Now there are three of them, so now you have to really watch yourself. So much for the Tanga. I gotta get out of there. Nice. Good. Took care of that, thankfully. I actually got health back. I'm relieved. And now we reach the clash on the coast. Let's do it. Now what do we got to take on this time? It's the Turban Shell! Didn't he make his appearance in Season 2? And he sends out mooks to us to deal with. Eh, 
Get out of there. Good. Yeah, all it takes is just one shot. This guy won't rest until we're mint me. Got him. Oh, glorious. This is not good. Like the previous fight, now you're gonna take him on in the turbot like the Megazord. You gotta make sure to deal a lot of damage to it. And promise you don't get hit by the monster. Oh, I, I forgot about that. And I had no idea you could actually do a charging attack. Like that. The difference now is that in this one, those are moving targets. And he can launch more. I love using the charge shots to tear the troop. They actually do work. They also help speed up the fight a bit. Because, yes, you could still use rapid fire to tell you the truth, but charging is so. Oh, now he launches four. How lame. Now comes the fun part. He couldn't even get the song consistent. Try this on for size. Slice and dice. Okay, good enough. If you make a mistake, then you can still... Oh, I can block. And you still gotta power up the gauge. Like so. That's why I have to have it close so that way I can do this. Ultra power mode activated. Oh no! Yeah, but you have to be actually really fast for it. Slice and dice! I do like the design of the Megazord though. It was much better this time. Nice, and you also get a Megazord bonus. So that pretty much takes care of chapter... Where did the Megazord go? I'm sorry, Rangers. For some reason, the connection of the morphing grid is weakened. The Megazord has used up almost all of its energy. For now, you must have enough power for you to keep fighting, but we cannot help you teleport. This is just great. Best news ever. Perhaps we can find an alternative source of energy in another dimension. Hey, Zordon. This gem. I got it from that thing that fell out of nowhere. Do you think it could help? Give it to Alpha 5. We will analyze it. Great, but how do we get to the other towers? They're way too far away to walk. Hey, 
Hey, does anyone here have any transportation? A van? A bus? A plane? I... I have a plane. Wow, I was just kidding about the plane. Why is it even... Can you fly us close to one of those towers? We have to stop them. You saw what they can do. Yes, yes I can. After all, you have saved me from those things. It's the least I can do. Then it's time to fly out of here. Come on! And that pretty much takes care of it for part two. Next time, yeah, we finished defending the city, but now in the next part we're heading to high altitude. And we gotta defend the rooftops. So that's pretty much it for this part of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Mega Battle. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you did, please be sure to hit the like button. It really does mean a lot to me. And I will see you guys next time. This is Mega Man NG signing off. Peace out!